Hi! In this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful After Effects like text reveal animation in PowerPoint. Whenever you want to create an animated video and you want your text to be a bit more dramatic than normal, you can use this wonderful effect. It is very simple to create though it looks quite complex and that is the kind of effect we are going for. In this tutorial, you will learn how to do this from scratch. By the way, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates to help you make beautiful and engaging presentations. As always, let us start from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. I just have the title written. Let us go to home, then pick up the shapes and use the rectangle tool and create a box which will serve as a text placeholder. Then, let us go to shape outline and say no outline. Then, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Give this a different color, maybe this orange color and place this to the distance that you want. See, I have given a little bit of distance between the edge and this orange color. Now, watch what happens when I hit Ctrl D. The new duplicate is created with a bit of a space which is equal to the earlier space and I'm going to have shape fill in say this teal color. Watch again, control D. Then we are going to use this purple color. And if you actually observe here, in every time we have the same kind of gap being shown, let us use control D again. And this time I'm going to use black color. So we totally have, maybe I can zoom out a little bit so you can clearly see, we totally have five colored strips shown here. Excellent. This is going to be the place where we will have the number written and we will have the text written here. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Let us select all of these. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and make the duplicate over here. Then let us zoom out in such a way that everything can be seen quite nicely. And then you see this blue colored strip. Let us place this in such a way that it is outside and it touches the right edge of this black strip. Can you see? I can use the smart guide to ensure that this blue touches this black colored strip. Then let us select all of these elements. I'm going to zoom out even more so I can see everything. And then let us select all of these and use distribute horizontally option. Align middle just in case if any of that got misaligned. Now. I'm going to right click, go to format object and for all of these elements after selecting everything, I'm going to increase the transparency to 40%. Can you see everything looks so subtle, almost pastel like because of the increased transparency. Now I'm going to right click and send this to back. Go to animations, use fly in animation and this flies in from left. And this happens for one second. Let us go to animation pane so you can see the animation that is happening here. Now we have got this bit taken care of. Next, let us select all of these elements at the top. Press Ctrl G to create a group. And then go to animations, make a fly in animation happen. This time this happens from right and this happens for the same 0.5 seconds, which is the default duration. And this happens after previous. So if you were to see, first all these animations are happening, fly in to the right for one second, whereas this group is happening, fly in from right for 0.5 seconds. So that is what is seen here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can clearly see the kind of animation events that are happening here. Excellent. Now the next step is to select all of these elements which were earlier animated and make sure that the left edge of the slide and the left edge of this whole collection of strips corresponds and then place it in such a way that it coincides with the previous strip. So these sets are directly underneath this group that we had created. So far clear? Now. Let us go to slideshow and see what happens. On a click, this is what is happening. It's a very beautiful animation. It happens so smoothly that your audience will have no other option than to pay attention to what you've got there. Now let me hit escape. 
I don't really like my background for text to be this dark. So I'm going to select just this one. On a first click, we'll have the entire group selected. Then let us click on this black strip alone, which will be the place where we'll be writing our text. Let us go to home and reduce the shape fill from the black color to this dark gray color. Now this looks a lot more subtle. Let us go to this option here called fit slide to current window and let us write our text. Then let us fold this. Let us see what we have got here. Increase the font size to something decent, maybe around 24. 24 is a little too much, maybe 20 is good enough. And then let us place it over here. I don't really want this to be so folded. I am going to increase this. Maybe even if I want, I can increase the font size so it is very clearly visible. So I'm going to keep it over here and change the font color to white so there is sufficient contrast. Let us move this slightly to this side so you can see more of what we have here. I'm going to use a oval shape. So let us go to basic shapes and pick up this oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle like so. Then let us hit number one inside, select this bounding box so you can select the whole circle, change the font type to 2 cent empty condensed extra bold or anything which is bold and then let us change the shape fill to white, remove the outline, go to shape effects, go to shadow and use this one called as offset left and then change the font color to black and place it so a part of it is in the gray and a part of it is in the colored strip. You will understand this better if I zoom out a little bit. So this is how it looks. Now if you want to place it over here, it is completely up to you. I would prefer to have a part of it jutting into the gray for a little bit more of an aesthetic appeal. All right. Next, let us select this text and we are going to have this and let us hold the shift button and select this circle as well. Let us have both of them have a simple fade in animation and this happens with previous for the same default 0.5 seconds. So we have got these colored strips going from left and then we have this group flying in from right and then we have these two fade in animations happen. Now watch this. Let us go to slideshow on a click. We have got our beautiful first animation. Now let me escape. I'm going to make a copy of this. Just so we don't want to disturb the ones that we created earlier, I want to add a new slide so I can demonstrate to you the changes that I'm going to make. Let us take all of these. Let us select, let us press Ctrl A to select everything. Hold the Ctrl button and click on this slide title so you can deselect it. Press Ctrl C to create a copy and then you can place it over here, Ctrl V. Now let us move some of the things around. First, we have this group. So let us keep this aside so you don't really get confused with it. Then let us select this text and this circle as well and keep it over here. Our work is mainly to do with these bits here. So I'm going to zoom out slightly and then I'm going to select all of these. First press Ctrl G to group it. You can see that whatever animation that was there on that is now gone. That's okay. I'm going to flip it horizontally. So when I click flip horizontal, you can always go to home and you can go to arrange, rotate and then use flip horizontal option. Since I already have it available here as a shortcut on my quick access toolbar, I do it very easily. So this is available. Now I'm going to make sure that the right edge of this corresponds with the right edge of this slide and I'm going to place it in such a way that it is below the first one. Since I'm going to have this right below the first bar. I have just ensured that there is enough space there. Now I am going to right click and then send this to back. Then right click, group and say ungroup. Beautiful. Now we are going to apply animations to it. Let us go to animations, go to fly in and this time instead of fly in from left, we are going to have fly in from right and this is going to happen for one second like we did earlier. Can you see here? Now we are going to move all of this a little bit above. So the previous animations are pushed down. Then let us select this group here and we are going to flip this horizontally as well. If you see all we are doing is whatever that we did in one direction, we are changing the direction to the other way. That's all. And we are going to ensure that this group is placed in such a way that the left edge corresponds with 
the previous strip. Can you see here the left edge of the slide and this group correspond and this is going to be flying in from left this time. So that is how it is going to happen and we are going to have this text and this placeholder for our number going to be placed over here. That looks good. Now let us go to this option here called fit slide to current window and let us place this right over here so it slightly juts out from this colored strip we are going to change this to number two and of course you can make changes to the text here as well so we have got our number two done now when i go to slideshow just observe how this one works so this is number two so all i did was i took the previous one flipped the shapes and then flipped the animation direction and i created my second one so now that we have all this available let us select everything from this slide, deselect the slide title of course, press Ctrl C, go back to the previous slide and hit Ctrl V and now this one is placed just the way we want. Now let us select the top one and then press Ctrl C to create a copy, Ctrl V to create a paste and then move it and ensure that the right edge of this blue color, can you see we have this blue colored one here that corresponds with the right edge of the slide. So that is what we need to ensure. And then of course, you can always make changes to the text here. For that, once again, let us go to fit slide to current window and then go here and make this as number three. Now, when we go to slideshow, you can see what we have got. On a click, we have the first text revealed like this. Then we have the second text revealed like this. You can see the direction is completely in the opposite. And then we have the third one, which is nothing but the first one repeated again. So that is how this particular text animation works. Now I want to show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle where we show the same idea of three text and these three texts also have images. Let me show you another example template. Here we have the text variation in a very different way. The first image is showcased like this, the second image and the third image is showcased like this. Let us take another template. This one has three photos with text in a very different way. A hand comes and draws. So we reveal the photo and the corresponding text. So as you can see with a bit of imagination and knowing how to work with PowerPoint the right way, you can create magic in PowerPoint. Now, finally, I want to show you a very beautiful template that I created. And I also demonstrated how to do it in a YouTube tutorial as well. And this is of course added as part of our comprehensive all-in-one bundle template. If you want to know how to create this animation in a step-by-step -step fashion, I will include a link on your screen right now. You can click on the link and learn that tutorial. And you can also join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five day free email mini training by clicking on the link that you see here. I'll share 25 useful PowerPoint ideas that I have not shared elsewhere. Just by clicking on this link, you will join that free mini course and you can enjoy that. Click join and I'll see you inside.